Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken, this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two Run, and we are beating the game with only two soldiers. I'm pretty sure that we're going to do that on the highest difficulty. Uh, it is time for a landed UFO. It's probably going to be the last mission before we are uh, trying to finish the game. So what a better time to bring Harbringer and Red. I want to see how our skirmisher is doing. Uh, it, we only had uh, one chance to see how this uh, uh, tech team actually could uh, work, which was on a supply raid this time. It's uh, yeah, a similar mission. It's a landed UFO. Uh, both of them are difficult, so let's see how they are doing within this mission, which, actually, uh, which is actually going to be interesting. As for the general campaign, for those of you who have uh, regularly watched uh, it up to this point, uh, we are just waiting for the dodge uh, training to be completed. I wouldn't have uh, imagined that uh, mm, I would spend so much time in actually uh, training the soldiers, but it is fun to uh, to see uh, what you can do. Like the two soldiers, Ro uh, Roby and Hogbite, are crazily durable, uh, which is exactly what we would need. I don't think that we will have enough uh, firepower to deal with the entirety of uh, the aliens, uh, so... The idea is really to have enough durability to get through all three of the avatars, kill them and finish uh, the mission. So that's um, that's going to be the name of the game. And unless something is happening, I am pretty sure that with a ghost uh, uh, of Hogbite, Hogbite himself, as well as... Um, Roby and uh, uh, the commander, so the psionic character, we should be uh, capable of uh, actually dealing a lot of damage. Uh, but now let's focus on this mission here real quick. So landed UFOs, uh, always a pleasure to do those. Um, we have gotten a bit of a support from an XCOM operative here. That's, uh, that's good, I like it. Uh, the reason why they are such a pleasure is uh, they are fun to play. Uh, there will be no timer until we actually engage with the first uh, pack of enemies. And afterwards it's going to be a quite a strict mission. There's a second pack right there. Interesting position, by the way. So, I would say we're in a good spot to start this encounter. 8 Protocol 4 Overwatch for the threat assessment. Now I would like to get one of them really, really close. So come here. Very nice. Is Guardian going to proc? Uh, because uh, Red, our specialist, has the ability to take multiple uh, overwatch shots. Apparently it hasn't procced. Okay, that's fine. Good enough. We still have the option to continue here. This is really nicely shreddering him. And there is the kill. We're going to Overwatch. There's a timer, by the way. So let's get the Viper pulled. Which is 
it's right over there. Time for us uh, to move a little bit closer. The end is yeah, let's take shots and kill this guy. Done. Death from above. Well, we could uh, kill the next one as well. Good job. Still death from above. Reloading. And uh, let's move up. So two rounds, two packs down. That's good start. Opening the door and oh wow yeah that's a lot of that's a lot of uh, hit points to chuck through almost tempted to close that door You know what, we can always close the door a little bit later. Just thinking. Moving to here. And a nice little capacitator discharge. It's actually hitting quite well. Deals additional damage to uh, mechanical units. So that was good. Thanks to combat presence, we can continue our onslaught. That's a death from above. Yeah, I don't want to do the saturation fire thing. Uh, what we could do is we could move up to here and that'll give us the uh, option for retaliation. So if we're overwatching here, they would need to come. They currently have tactical... Um, they currently have uh, only one action so if we're just moving out of line of sight they will with technical analysis automatically come Need to find some new cover. fortunately we couldn't uh, neither of our abilities is triggered that is very unfortunate ah eh. So let's try to get a little bit of his armor down, which worked very well.
We do have blue screen rounds, so I'm almost wondering if it is better if we were to destroy the Andromedon with a normal gun. Very nice. And this here should take care of uh, the shell. Okay. We were in full cover, uh, for the record. It might not have looked like much, but we were actually in full cover. That's affirmative. Yeah, we can move in next turn, that's good. So for now... I think we're going to move over here. And Overwatch. Accessing system. I almost forgot that we have uh, the ability to access from range. Oh, nice. Enemy protocol. That's such a treat. And since we haven't gotten it, it's such a tease at the same time. Attack the planet. We've knocked out the alien distress signal. Looks like the skies are quiet. You hear that? There's a target preview. Which uh, means something is standing next to something that can be exploded. Scanning. Reload, Overwatch. Reload. And Overwatch. That's a pretty nasty pack that we're fighting. Pretty, pretty nasty. So let's do an aid protocol to make sure that our skirmisher can remain where he is. Let's furthermore I mean it's difficult. Probably still need to go for the gatekeeper. Went off the armor. Moving to designated coordinates. All right, combat presence. Can go with a uh, saturation fire. Question is, is this here even going to kill the gatekeeper? No. And we don't have any chance to crit it either. Let's keep our shot then. Uh, we're starting with. Oh, wait a second. Never mind, we could whiplash it. Or we're going for Battlelord. Nah. Let's not play reactive, let's play proactive, which means this gatekeeper here needs to die. Hit the armor. 
Very nice. It's almost down. So, time for a whiplash. Fear the lash. Didn't work out. That on the other side did work out. It's probably not going to be a kill. Nope, not at all. But we do have an overwatch. We had an overwatch. In all fairness though, it's a relatively difficult pack to deal with. Um, it's not easy. Let's try to keep her alive. One of the things that I like on the other hand is with Justice we are probably able to kill this guy although he was in a really tough spot. Because all of a sudden his uh, full cover is no cover at all. Nice little hair trigger, by the way. Oh, before we are being caught out of position, let's retreat real quick. This guy is immune to burning, but he will at least get a retaliation. They are not born of courage. Or retribution, sorry. I must focus my strikes. Fire spreading. Oh yeah. Alright. Reload. Let's heal up again. I mean overall I'm uh, pretty uh, impressed with how well the two managed to actually hold this position here. Back into full cover. Ready to rock. Affirmative. Covering now. The pick that they fought was not easy at all. Let's get the loot and get back into uh, cover. Superior laser side probably was not worth it, but whatever. Overwatch and Overwatch. They're probably going to uh, stay right over there. Yeah, that was clear. That was very much predictable.
This pack here, by the way, looks much more easy than the others. Nice little hair trigger. That was just to finish up the unit. That's not going to kill it. It's probably one of uh, the shortcomings. His weapon is good, but it is not dealing enough damage. That's... I think uh, a small issue. Nothing that couldn't be dealt with, but it's still... a small issue. Okay, so that's another kill. A protocol on ourselves for threat assessment softening this guy up and Harbringer can finish him Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. yeah overall good I think it's an okay combination uh, that could work the Regular uh, option to uh, to shift uh, um, actions to the other side. That's probably uh, his keystone ability. Um, I think a specialist can't fully take advantage of it uh, due to the lack of firepower. It will probably be even stronger on a uh, on a grenadier. But then again, I think that the skirmisher definitely needs a healer at his side because he's uh, he's often so exposed I'm glad to see that our cooperation with the resistance factions is going so well commander their soldiers seem to be a big help around here yeah that was good fun times I like it And there we uh, go. Uh, that is another 10 dodge. I mean, that's another 10 dodge, which is nice, but not necessary. Question is, do we want to go for one more? Or do I keep my word? And are we actually going to finish this run? I'm going to keep my word and we're actually going to finish this run, which means um, it is time for a bit of a preparation. Trainings wise, let's take a look at Roby here. Roby has a lot of um, AP and we do have a lot of um, XCOM AP. So we wanted to go for Ever Vigilant. I fully support that. Because uh, then he gets uh, overwatches for free after double movements, that's good. And uh, covering fire is really good as well. So, not sure if we want combat protocol, it's not bad, but uh, let's uh, wait and see what else we can do. So, that's certainly an option. There we go. We got 30 AP left over. And we gotta make a couple of decisions here. Could either take these three abilities or any other two. So pillar is good. I like it. We're probably not going to use it a lot. 
Aftershock, nah. Stunstrike, I think I've very, very, very seldom and sparsely used it. I somewhat like the idea that we're going with exchange the squad mate that can be even used um, on the Templar Ghost and the enemy. This this here will probably help us with um, the final fight to make sure that our movement is always okay and that we're at the right uh, place with hog bites so far that looks good I mean, we have nothing else to do here let's go and again in the armory check what would we uh, take with us onto the last mission personal uh, combat sim superior perception is good 55 dodge almost that is incredible the hacking is okay could be better but is certainly not bad either the reason why uh, this is relevant uh, event is we might be in the situation where we can hack a sector port or a heavy mech and a really high hacking score definitely is helpful for the last mission as well uh, we do have a shit ton of abilities just so so good the um, 23 health uh, that's uh, helpful as well a good mobility so uh, pretty solid character loadout wise disruptor rifle not even a question icarus armor again not even a question like that's so good uh, the gremlin uh, highest uh, level certainly not a plasma grenade um, it's not going to happen so nano med kit a yes and i think we're i'm pretty sure that we will go with blue screen rounds there will be mechanical enemies um and we will need to kill them so uh that in itself is a no-brainer good he's done let's look at his partner 21 hit points a little bit less uh, hit points uh good that we do have the superior conditioning here um 100 dodge which is probably the absolute selling point 18 mobility is crazy he's going to be super fast the aim is a bit lackluster but that's okay um, the armor is good it's nice to, uh, to have that um, yeah and we're probably going with the superior conditioning here if anything in terms of uh, making him even stronger probably around five hit points would have been uh, good but i i don't want to grind that anymore um mind shield for him is uh, a given and yeah that's pretty much it doesn't look like much on uh well i shouldn't say that this year looks like a lot um, uh, the loadout doesn't look like much, but if you look at all of the other abilities, Deflect, Reflect, Fortress, Bladestorm, uh, Deeper Focus, Lightning Hands, Quick Draw, uh, Sustenance, uh, Ghost, like there is a Reaper, the, the list goes on. I like all of them. Iconic Storm has saved us a couple of times. Void Conduit, super good uh, against uh, the um, Assassin. Um, that's really really good and now here the extra abilities so that's good um, that is pretty good the other tech team that's going to go in is Renman and Roby uh, probably not very surprising for um, uh, many of you oh, we still have the fear of Archons whatever we're still doing it uh, Rage Armor, uh, Arashi Katana, Shredstorm Cannon not a plasma grenade, my friend. Not a plasma grenade. Uh, no, no, no. You got that all wrong. We are hey, Commander. building a couple of items. It's not that we're short on anything. Specifically not short on money. So, personal combat sim, um, are we going with the conditioning? I think that's an option. 
I mean, we could also go with the agility, uh, which isn't bad either. That would give him even more dodge. You know what? Let's do that. He's still healthy enough. Um, loadout. Going to take the mine shield. And yeah, he's good. I mean, if we were uh, if we were having more time, uh, this uh, uh, this assault could uh, be uh, quite intensively trained, up to the point where he certainly uh, could be almost as good as Hawkbite, I suppose. Serpent armor, uh, nice little energy cannon, superior stock, superior expanded magazine. Uh, um I mean the rest is good. I'm not sure if the weapon is the best uh, one. This weapon has a superior expanded magazine and a superior stock. Okay. Wait a second. I think Wild Child has a better gun. Superior scope, superior expanded magazine, superior repeater. Yeah. Um, good. There we go. Done. He has a better weapon now. Everything else is pretty much good. Good to go. So this is going to be it, gentlemen. Now this is going to be the final curtain call. We have individual concealment, no problem. SWAT targeting, no problem. Everyone gets run and gun. Very good. And we can reduce enemy will by, uh, uh, by a lot. It'll cost us so much intel, but that's fine. Can certainly do that. Avenger plotting new course. I think there is uh, nothing that we could uh, buy that would make a huge impact now. No, there isn't. Okay, good. In which case, this here is going to happen the next time. Yeah, that's going to happen the next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed your company on this um, on this run. It's two more, two more missions, and then we're done. And it's done and dusted. Everything's done. I'm waiting for that achieve achievement for a long, long time to call it quits. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget the thumbs up and please be as excited as I am to finish this. Thank you. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.